Hello, my name is Rüdiger Lenz. I'm correspondent of Deutsche Welle in Washington and I'm president of the AtlanticCommunity.org in the US. Who will become the next president in the US? This is the $100 million question. But, interestingly enough, if the Europeans or the Germans would be asked, it is quite clear. First, it should be a Democrat. And second, preferably Obama. But how about the Americans? Is that as given as in Europe at the moment? No, it is not. There's a third candidate in the race, and he's Republican, and his name is John McCain. And he's not even on the radar screen in Germany and not in Europe, because everyone thinks that the election is already over and the, Dem the, the Democrats will win big. But that is not a given fact. Why not so? First of all, McCain is a well-respected public figure. Secondly, he is a patriot. He is a Vietnam veteran and he is for a strong America and military. And that still sells well in the US. To the opposite, in Europe, this is not a very attractive position he is taking. But in America, it very well could be that McCain is going to be the next president in the US. And on the, 6th of, on the 5th of November, Europe will wake up and see the headlines, McCain is president. And for the third time in a row, the Europeans have got it wrong. Because in 2000, they thought it was a given fact that, make, that Gore would make the race. And in 2004, they thought John Kerry, who was not only Europe-minded, who spoke French, or still speaks French, has a wife and a woman who is a millionaire, a billionaire, and speaks several languages, very global-oriented, he should make it. He didn't make it again and even Bush won with a popular vote. So after all, the Europeans did get it wrong twice. Will they get it right this time? I don't know. But the chances are that we will see a Republican president. And that, I think, is something we should have on the radar screen and we should think about it. My name is Rüdiger Lenz. I say goodbye for the AtlanticCommunity.org.